If I asked you where Grid is in the evolution of CSS, what would you say? It's the newest and shiniest and most amazing thing ever. It surely is part of CSS3, maybe it's CSS4. But no, wait, CSS4 is never going to be a thing. And well, CSS3 isn't really a thing either. But wait, 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 I can hear you saying it now. CSS4 selectors are on their way. No, actually, CSS level 4 selectors are on their way. But CSS4 isn't. So just a heads up, this is a little bit of a different video if you haven't already been able to tell, uh, and I'm not going to be doing any coding in this one, so I hope I don't disappoint, but this is a big pet peeve of mine. It's something that's been driving me kind of crazy because I've been seeing it come up more and more, and it's this whole CSS4 thing. Now I get why CSS3 became a thing. It makes sense, everyone was calling it that, uh, everyone understood it as CSS3 because we'd had CSS, and then we'd had CSS2, and then we even had CSS2.1. But I've always sort of been aware that CSS3 wasn't an official thing, and it's why you'll never actually see me put CSS3 in the title of any of my videos. Um, I might have said it once or twice, you know, and it comes out, it's everybody's saying it, but I purposely never put it in the title of any of my videos. I, I definitely could have got me more views, probably, because it's one of the more searched for things. But um, the reason I didn't is because it's not really a thing. Um, and with the CSS4 thing, the most common place I see it is people who should be saying it that know better. And it just comes across as major clickbait as far as I'm concerned. But as I mentioned, CSS1 or well, CSS was a thing and CSS2 was a thing and CSS2.1 was a thing. So what happened? When it came time to updating CSS uh, again, once 2.1 was ready and finished, um, they decided to break CSS up into a lot of little bits and pieces and uh, so they could work on them independently. Um, they wanted to be able to make progress separately on the little bits and pieces, or what they're actually called modules. So they wanted to take these different modules and be able to, okay, this one's going to go in this direction, this one's going here, this one's pretty good, we're not going to advance that one right away. And it, it made them so they're completely independent from one another as far as the, the advancement of each level, or each module. And why did they do such a thing? Well, let's rewind a little bit. Let's look at where CSS was when it first started. The first version of CSS had about 50 properties. 50. <laughs> That's it. It was mostly things like color, background, border, uh, width, padding, margin, stuff like that. So then CSS2 came about and it had a lot more than 50 properties. It had a lot of properties. And this meant it took nine years for them to finish making it, to finalize the specification. Nine years. Um, so they sort of realized this isn't going to work. We can't have our specification updating every decade and even it's going to get more complicated. Um, and the reason for this is everything had to be agreed on before it could be finalized because maybe everything along the way is there. There's a couple little things here and there left over that are nagging and delay the entire specification from officially being updated. So the idea to break things up into modules, things can be broken apart, each thing could be worked on independently from the other, so they could take, say, um, the things to do with text, and they could make that one keep advancing, even though over here they had something else that was holding things up, and they couldn't agree on how that should be updated. So it makes it so it's a little more dynamic in how things can progress, and it's going to the idea was to prevent things from stagnating in the in the long run. So this whole CSS3 thing, it wasn't really CSS3. What it was, was they updated all the different modules. So all the modules got updated, but um, they were updated to level three. So instead of being CSS, well, they had CSS2, but then CSS3, they were considered there would be a level three module. So the, that module was sitting at level three. So for example, the color and the text modules are currently sitting at level three even today. So while those are still sitting at level three, they've started work on some other things like writing mode and selectors. Those are currently in the draft to get to level four. So they are sort of in their level four beginner state right now. And because they're all level three, they're all, and they're all independent from each other, the one thing that's important is they all rely on what the 2.1 spec had said. The 2.1 spec is sort of the grounding thing. This is where we're starting from. All work is going to build off from here. So we're, we're evolving from this point, but each thing is evolving separately. And this is also really important because things like Flexbox and Grid didn't exist in the 2.1 spec. They weren't there. So where do they start? Well, they started the level one spec. They didn't exist. They're not evolving from 2.1, so they start at one. 
So Flexbox is currently in its level 1 spec, and Grid, the level 1 is official, but the level 2 spec is currently in the working draft where they're doing a few, um, looking at adding a few different things, like finally getting in the subgrid that everyone is after. And the cool thing with this whole component-based thing is they know that it allows them to work faster. So they had a lot of ideas for this second level of the grid spec, but they dropped some of them going, well, we're going to put that in the level three one because we can sort of start talking about those, but we want the second one to come out as soon as possible. So let's drop off that extra stuff. They're looking at the subgrid and the AR unit, which is, I forget, a relative unit for something. <laughs> And um, because of that, so they're going, these are going to be part of the level three and they can start thinking about it while they push to get through the level two stuff faster. So you can actually have multiple versions of something in the works at a time with um, different sort of the modules. You could have three version, three levels of that in the works, but just different states of where the development is on each one of them. So in reality, right now we have some things that are developing towards their level 4 spec, we have other things that are currently in their level 1, we we'll eventually have things that are level 5 and level 6 and level 7 and who knows where, where other things are still at level 1. So there is no CSS3 and one thing we can definitely agree on is there will never ever be a CSS4. Um, and I just think, why are we so obsessed with the numbers on it anyway? It makes it sound new and shiny and I get that, but why? How about we just call it CSS and I'll be happy and take a little bit of complication out of these things. And of course, be really happy that it's not going to take another decade for the spec to be updated. Now, if you like this video and you're new to this channel, this is a little bit different than what I usually do. Usually it's tips, tricks, and tutorials on actually how to make the web. So I'd encourage you to go and check those other things out. And of course, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons. You guys are awesome and help make these videos possible. So thank you guys so very much. And uh, next week we will be going back to a more regularly styled uh, video of mine. So looking forward to that. And until then, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.